Hello, and welcome back to our Bible story time. I'm so glad that you can join us today, where we're using stories from the Lectionary Story Bible by Ralph Milton. And we're so grateful to Ralph for giving his permission for his stories to be used during this pandemic. Today we're reading Rebecca and Her Babies. It's based on Genesis 25, and it's a continuation of the stories of Abraham and Sarah, and then Rebecca and Isaac that we read a few days ago. After Rebecca and Isaac were married, they began hoping for a baby. It didn't happen. Sometimes Rebecca would say to Isaac, I'm beginning to know what your mom felt like. She was 90 years old before you came along. Will I have to wait that long? Rebecca didn't wait quite that long. 20 years after they were married, she said to her husband, Isaac, we're pregnant. She didn't have an easy time. Rebecca knew she would feel the baby moving inside her, but it seemed this baby was jumping around far too much. So Rebecca asked God about it. God gave her a bigger answer than she expected. You are having twins, Rebecca, said God. Each of the twins will grow up to be the grandparent of many people, the great, great grandparent of a whole nation. It's part of the promise I made to Abraham and Sarah. When the twins were born, they turned out to be two boys. The first baby to be born seemed all red and hairy. They named him Esau, which means hairy. The second twin came out of Rebecca right after the first. He came so close, he seemed to be hanging onto the heel of his brother. So they named him Jacob, which means he grabs what doesn't belong to him. As the boys grew older, Esau liked to go out hunting for food in the hills. They made Isaac, that made Isaac, his father, happy. Jacob liked to stay around home with his mother, so Rebecca liked him best. Esau and Jacob often got angry at each other. I'm the oldest, said Esau. Father will give me everything when he dies. You won't get anything. It was true. Esau was older by about one minute. In those days, the oldest son got almost everything when his father died. Younger sons got just a little. Girls didn't get anything. It's not fair, Rebecca often said to Jacob. You should have your father's sheep and cows and goats. We've got to figure out a way to make it happen. One day, Jacob was cooking up a tasty stew for himself and Rebecca. It smelled wonderful. Jacob was a good cook. Just then, Esau came in from hunting. He hadn't caught anything, so he hadn't eaten for two days. He was very, very hungry. Give me some of your stew, he said to Jacob. Now Jacob saw his chance. I'll give you some of my stew if you promise to let me have all the things dad plans to give to you. Who cares, Esau yelled. You can have anything you want. If I don't eat right away, I'll die anyway. Promise, asked Jacob. Yes, promise. Now give me some food. Jacob smiled. He knew he would get something that didn't belong to him. He ran to tell his mother. Esau didn't think about what he had just done. He was too busy eating. And we'll pick up on their story at another time. I'm so glad that you're here to join us today and I look forward to having you join us tomorrow. Bye for now.